Hi guys, this is Francois from Chestnutink. Um, here today I would like to show you the review of the Mighty 14K uh, Revo, the new printer by Frozen. So as you can see the packaging is quite nice depending on the um, aspect of the box and uh, the, the packaging looks a bit more fancy than usual. So I bring a bit more speed on the um, basic unboxing uh, because you can see that the packaging and the protection of the printer is actually as usual so nothing really to say on that. Um, the printer is pretty heavy, uh, so this is the first thing that I noticed when I received the box. Um, it looks like the build uh, quality is pretty pretty solid. Uh, this is what we will see later on, but it's all metal. Uh, all the keys are in metal and uh, with this um, cover rotating. So let's see a bit more on each features. So one of the first one is the build plate. The build plate is um, s very similar to the Mighty uh, 8K with the textured uh, surface, a bit smaller than uh, usual and than the 8K, if I get it well. Um, the, the, the holder and the uh, fix of the build plate is very similar than the 8K. So uh, I will come back on the um, accessory box uh, just a bit later. Uh, we will see what is inside. Uh, let's remove all the uh, foam inside. So on, on the side, and this is what blocks a, b a bit me to removing the, the foam, there is a little bar. Uh, this is the um, uh, internal light that you can uh, turn on and off. Um, it is obviously also turning on automatically when you take picture. So uh, there is a fixation for the VAT. They are the very same than the uh, Mighty 8K, so nothing very new on this. Uh, the VAT itself is also uh, kind of the same. I think it's exactly the same in the 8K. I will check that later on. Um, it is pre-installed with the NFEP on it. Um, so, and it has the same uh, features like the um, four little um, uh, screw that allow you to put the, the VAT uh, on a table without scratching uh, the NFEP. So I will uh, remove all the other foam uh, on it uh, carefully and we will have a look a bit more in the uh, inside of the printer. So uh, the new thing is a heater um, included. Probably the, the wires could have been done a bit better, but well, it's well fixed. The camera is also there. Um, we will come back to that later on in the video. Um, other things are uh, very uh, similar with the dual rail and the and the screw, but this is a ball screw here and not the least screw. Um, it looks like the saw um, it has been um, um, isolated from the um, bottom part to avoid resin spilling into the uh, motor, so that's fine. Um, the rail looks also a bit better than the, the one from the uh, might, uh, Mighty 8K. So overall, even the cover is very well fixed. Um, there is four, uh, four screws on each side, making it very solid. There is an exhaust vent uh, pre-made that you can plug into the, the um, uh, exhaust for fumes. Uh, a very classical uh, uh, power cord has to be um, attached and you have also the pre-made and pre-installed uh, um, uh, plugs and holes from the uh, pump and fill accessories if you would like to add that to the printer. So what is inside the box? Nothing really uh, fancy. Um, you got the one year license for the Shitu box. So this is as expected uh, for this printer. Uh, there is a sandpaper. So I mean, don't ship that anymore. I mean, no one needs a sandpaper with the uh, textured wheel plate. Um, there is a knife, a metal uh, scrapper, a plastic scrapper. There is also uh, Allen keys. Uh, a bit better quality than the previous one that I've got from Frozen and the classical USB key. Uh, power cord as usual, as I said, no transformers or something, just a power cord. And there is a new um, uh, air cleaner, um, air filtering system uh, from Frozen, so I will open it later on in the video. So. When I um, open the printer, I, I have a tendency to remove all the, the papers and the stickers out of it. So from the screen, the protection, you can remove it. Um, and I remove also the one from the uh, VAT on the NFEP. Um, there is a red sticker, so you, you, you should not avoid, uh, miss it. And you should really remove it before printing, of course. Um, the VAT is sitting in the same method like in the Mighty with the four different screws that fit in place um, and avoid any movement. And uh, 
you can um, attach the, the VAT uh, as usual with the MIT. So nothing really new on that. Uh, what what is really new, I would say, compared to the Mighty, is the build quality. It looks like heavier, um, more solid, I would say. Um, so this looks nice, and, and I think we could uh, just also look a bit more on the additional uh, uh, options there. Uh, for example, the the air filtering system. Um, so this one is really. Uh, the classical one with a, a charcoal filtering system. So you have to remove the, the filtering uh, pad uh, from the plastic and uh, and put it inside the, the aspiration. So it's supposed to aspirate the, the fumes and the, the uh, organic compound. I honestly don't know and did not verify if it works well. Uh, there is multiple videos out there that you can check for the um, uh, VOC, volatile organic, uh, organic compounds. Um, Indeed, it's pretty easy to install. It's just a USB um, plug, so you can just plug in into a little uh, USB port uh, that is aside to the rail. So uh, let, let's look uh, quickly at how it uh, looks like from uh, a closer look. So it's very easy. You just have to plug it in it. The, um, the camera is also very nicely done with a, a large and long cable where you can uh, move the placement of the camera. Um, it is uh, magnetized, the base is magnetized, so you can plug the camera everywhere, it's pretty solid, and you can orientate the camera. I have to play a bit on that to check if the um, the placement of the camera is better on the side or on the, on the bottom part of the printer, um, so maybe that could be a kind of a testing phase on that. Um, the, the camera is really close to the to the light, um, to the internal light, so you can um, really take good pictures even if your printer is um, printing into a dark environment. So, in that way, uh, the, the the placement of the camera could be nice to move a bit. So here you can see how it looks like with the air uh, filtering system uh, in place, um, and then you can just remove it very easily. Um, the air filtering system is not automatic. You have to turn it on and off manually. Um, so maybe we will have to try a, a bit during the printing how it goes. So overall, all these kind of new features like the heating, the cameras, and the filtering system has been improved, but also the build quality. So this is what I would like to say uh, on the first uh, side of this printer.